Good afternoon, students. This is SP Smart School Learning Program. The subject is chemistry. And in this video, we are going to discuss the valency of the following ions and how these ions are used to make a compound. So, firstly, we are going to discuss the valency of the following ions. So, first is sodium ion that is Na positive. The ferric ion is Fe3 positive. Chloride is Cl negative. Carbonate is CO3 2 negative. Sulfate is SO4 2 negative. Sulfide is S2 negative. Nitride is N3 negative. Oxide is O2 negative. Cupric is C2 positive. Manganate is MnO4 2 negative. Bromide is Br negative. Iodide is I negative. Sulfite is SO3 2 negative. Nitride is NO2 negative. Bicarbonate is written as HCO3 negative. Ammonium ion is written as NH4 positive. Potassium ion is written as K positive. Barium ion is written as Ba2 positive. Calcium ion is written as Ca2 positive. Nitrate ion is written as NO3 negative. Silver ion is written as Ag positive. Hydrogen ion is written as H positive. Cuprous ion is written as Cu positive. Hydroxide ion is written as OH negative. And aluminium ion is written as Al3 positive. Now, secondly, we will discuss how a compound is formed using these ions. So, let us take one example. In this example, we have to conclude or make AlCl3, that is aluminium chloride. So, for the aluminium chloride, we have to use aluminium and chloride ion. So, for the aluminium, we have Al3 positive and for the chloride ion, we have Cl negative. Since these positive and negative ion do not cancel out each other, so these are crossed multiplied with each other. So, the formula becomes AlCl3 and this multiplication is done on the subscript of the other compound. This method is called as crisscross method. Now let us take one more example. In this example we have to make copper sulfate. So for the copper we have Cu2 positive and for the sulfate ion we have SO4 2 negative. Since these both the ions are equal, so they cancel out each other. When they cancel out each other, the formula becomes CuSO4, that is copper sulfate. Let us take one more example. We have to make calcium carbonate. So, how this calcium carbonate is formed? We know that the calcium ion is Ca2 positive and the carbonate ion is CO3 2 negative. Since these two ions are equal, so they cancel out each other. So the formula becomes CaCO3. Now we have to make the sodium sulfate formula. So, for the sodium sulfate, we know that the sodium is Na positive and the sulfate ion is SO4 2 negative. Since these ions are not equal, so these are cross multiplied at the subscript of the each other. So, the formula becomes Na2SO4 that is sodium sulfate. So these are the examples of the crisscross method. How we can make a formula for the compounds.